Hi, I'm Darren. And I'm Lawton. And we're from the brand Words Like Daggers, and these are our dream tours. Uh, my dream tour, personally, would be, uh, the headliner would be Metallica, because without, if it wasn't for Metallica, I probably would have never picked up a guitar. Then, probably the second headliner would be, probably the Dillinger Escape Plan, because they probably had the craziest live show I've ever seen, and their music has changed my life, as far as, like, just how I perform and just what is good, I guess, live music. Um, and then number three would probably be Between the Buried and Me because Colors is probably the most beautiful album of all time and that's all they would play. They couldn't play anything else, just Colors. And, and if they wanted to play an encore, they could play Mordecai, but then I, that'd be it. Um, and then four, God, man, this is tough. Probably, probably the Fall of Troy. That'd be a good one, yeah, see? <laughs> He's excited. But uh, Thomas Eric is just a phenomenal guitar player and an awesome performer, too. Um, I don't even have to say anything. An and then an opener, every oh. time I die. Beautiful. Because I don't Beautiful. even have to say why. <laughs> Done. Stupid. So. All right, I'm going to go on the different side of the genre spectrum. I'd say headlining, you got, you got to have uh, Simon and Garfunkel. They are, they're beautiful. They are timeless. If you don't like Simon and Garfunkel, you're probably not a human being. So I would say then after that, maybe co-headlining even would be Incubus. Uh, I'd want them to play some of their old stuff. I really like, you know, stuff off Science. Oh, Whatnot was very good, good. very good, very angsty. But they're also, you know, a beautiful band. And then uh, after them, I would say, or before them, I would say uh, Paramore probably. That might be a triple headliner. They're getting so huge. But love Paramore. The melodies are amazing. You know, great shows. They're just getting better and better. And uh, and then I gotta put Circus Survive next. They're my favorite band of all time, and if I could die at one of their shows, I would. <laughs> it's beautiful. Just beautiful. I, I can't even, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Everything they do is perfect. So Circus Survive, for sure. And then kicking it all off, and they'd probably be insulted if they ever heard this, but like it would just be a, a five-way headlining tour, I guess, or five or six. I'm not sure how many I have, but I'm going to say kicking it off would be Minus the Bear. Just uh, cool, smooth jams, you know, great kind of jazzy, good stuff. It's tasty. It's savory. It's the savory kind of music. I'd go to your show. Thank you. Thank you, dude. It'd be a million dollars, but... It'd be like it'd probably be like a good three hundred dollars a ticket, three thousand dollars, <laughs> just for you. Yep.